In retrospect, Nikola Tesla is known above all as a brilliant inventor who was generations ahead of his time. And even today, we still draw on the genius's unique ideas and creations, which have become an indispensable part of our everyday lives. For example, we have the pioneer of the electronic world to thank for the alternating current network, the remote control, and the radio, among other things. But if we look beyond this technical horizon and take a closer look at some of Nikola Tesla's quotations, we realize that the physicists at the time recognized something that will forever remain hidden from most of us. A universal truth capable of answering the most fundamental questions of mankind. Where do we come from? What is the meaning of life? Is there a divine creator? Together with you today, we would like to see what Nikola Tesla had to say about these fundamental issues. Do you want to broaden your horizons and get to know new exciting perspectives? Then hit the like and subscribe buttons and be sure to watch our video all the way to the end. In the beginning was sound. If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency and vibration. This short statement from Nikola Tesla already gives a deep insight into the world view of the genius. But what is hidden behind these words? What insights can be gained from them? And how can we apply them to our everyday lives? Well, basically, it means nothing else than that everything that exists turns and vibrates. Everything has its own main resonance frequency. From the atom over a bacterium up to banal things like a soccer field, we are able to manipulate every object about its resonant frequency. In the first chapter of the Gospel of John, we read, In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God Himself. In Hinduism, the sound of creation is again described as Om, while the ancient Egyptians believed the universe came into being in the context of a song. And while these religious beliefs differ drastically in many ways, we find other exciting points of intersection among them. While the world was created in six days according to the Bible, Om and the all-seeing Eye of Horus are also composed of six aspects. If you like, then you can summarize the basic message of the beliefs as follows. Sounds and resonances are the beginning of everything. Furthermore, many experts have shown us that sounds also manifest themselves in physical form. If you sprinkle some salt on a metal plate and make it vibrate with the help of a tone generator, you will find that the grains of salt form the most complex geometric patterns depending on the frequency. Amazing Properties If we now take a brief look at the beliefs of the Australian Aborigines, we will learn a story about the time when supernatural beings broke through the surface of the earth and created the landscapes with three sacred songs. And also, this religious myth can be confirmed in its basic features by a scientific experiment. If we replace the salt with powder, we see structures forming that resemble classical mountains and valleys, triggered by the influence of vibrations. Basically, sound is capable of setting in motion the most breathtaking phenomena. In reference to the divine words, let there be light, a loudspeaker can also dispel darkness when connected to an LED lamp. Furthermore, in the course of so-called acoustic levitation, it is even possible to make things like styrofoam balls or water drops float. Sounds create moving fields in the shape of a torus and these in turn create toroidal magnetic fields that form electricity. Or, to put it another way, since sound creates magnetic fields, by implication, everything must also be magnetic in some way. Of course, this hypothesis was also put to the scientific test, with a result that may surprise many of you. It turned out that water, glass, aluminum, graphite, and even oxygen also have paramagnetic properties. In the world of researchers, the term paramagnetism describes the magnetic behavior of a material that is exposed to the influence of an external magnetic field. As we all know, Tesla was also known for getting his own way and sometimes taking extremely unconventional paths. This also included that he massively questioned some aspects which were considered as unquestionable facts by his colleagues. So, also in the case of the electron, 
Accordingly, he stated from an interview from the year 1928 that he did not agree with the atomic theory of matter and also did not believe that the electron exists in the way science spreads it. The Question of Truth Some people even go so far as to claim that the false scientific assumptions are deliberately put into the world and spread by the leading universities. Accordingly, the teaching institutions and research institutes would be under the influence of ominous shadowy figures who do everything possible to conceal the actual truth from us. But what has it with the backgrounds of this? We say one peculiar assumption on itself. Well, if one follows the appropriate circles, then we could grow proverbially beyond us if we recognize the true characteristic of the matter and the cosmos. To keep us small and docile, therefore, alternative theories are put in front of us which, however, actually do not coincide with the reality. But no matter what we now think of such speculations, it is certain that also Albert Einstein had his problems with the decoding and the usual representation of electrons. Thus, the world-famous scientist stated, In the theoretical treatment of these electrons, we are faced with the problem that the electrodynamic theory is not in itself capable of explaining their nature. And further, since electric masses of one sign repel each other, the negative electric masses of which the electron is composed would necessarily be dispersed under the influence of their mutual repulsion, unless forces of another kind act between them, the nature of which has hitherto remained unknown to us. In simple terms then, Einstein was unable to explain the existence of electrons on the basis of the current models. For some people, the doubts that Tesla, Einstein and company expressed regarding the subject matter culminate in a groundbreaking conclusion. In truth, there is no such thing as electrons. However, since the corresponding theories have been taught for more than 200 years, they have meanwhile manifested themselves to such an extent that they are no longer questioned at all. Alternative Approaches but once assumed that sounds and magnetism are really capable to appear as natural or divine, creators to appear, how can this be proven? The examples we have shown you so far were quite impressive, but admittedly, they happen on a very small scale. In this regard, the supporters of the sound and magnetism thesis refer to some strange structures that can be found at the most different places of the world. In detail, it concerns thereby special stone circle formations which are to possess a somatic background. Coined by Swiss naturalist Hans Jenny, the term chymatics describes that phenomenon we showed you earlier, the visualization of sound and waves. This means that the stone circles visually represent those frequencies that come directly from inside the earth. Even more, we would have to do here clearly with magnetrons speak with structures which are able to produce electromagnetic waves. Given that the structures have diameters of 40 meters, each of these objects would be capable of generating more energy than all the power plants on Earth put together. And indeed, not only a few of these flower-shaped stone circles were to be tracked down. No, thousands of such structures adorn the landscape in southern Africa. The supposedly most powerful structure is located in South Africa and goes by the name Adam's Calendar. After the 30-meter stone circle was discovered by a pilot in the Pumalanga region in 2003, it hit the headlines when author Michael Tellinger claimed it was the oldest man-made structure, built, moreover, by a vanished civilization. Officially, however, the true age and original purpose of the stone ring are unknown. Ancient Mega Technologies the fact that the people of the past millennia always used stone to build their monumental structures from the ground had a higher meaning, of which we understand little today. At least that is what the corresponding assumptions say. According to this, our ancestors knew exactly what unique abilities were inherent in this material, since it served as a source of energy and an information carrier. Applied to the world-famous pyramids of Giza, this means that the structures were by no means colossal tombs of pharaohs but gigantic machines that fulfilled a previously unknown function. Supplied with the necessary energy by the sound of the earth and activated by the movement of the sun, the pyramids would have surpassed our modern achievements in all conceivable points. 
The same, meanwhile, would apply to structures such as obelisks, temples, and the mysterious Stonehenge. This would already become clear if we compare the arrangement of these structures with that of our modern computer chips and circuits. Thus, the peoples of antiquity made use of the same principles, but on a much larger scale. While Saxuama in Peru is commonly interpreted as a former fortification, in reality, the site embodied nothing more than an oversized circuit board. So guys, now we are curious about your opinion. What do you think about the theories and assumptions that we have presented to you today? Are they absolute nonsense, or did the hypotheses have a kernel of truth in the end? Write us your thoughts, your suggestions, and your feedback to our today's video, nevertheless, as usual, quite simply below in the comments. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and a subscription to stay up to date from now on. And with that, thanks for watching. Take care and see you next time.